All right, welcome back to the Art of War YouTube channel. Um, today we're going to be talking about everything lockdown. Here is your traditional half star that you can play. This with your legs just crossed, a figure four. Um, and like I said, I didn't really care for this. It didn't lead me to be very offensive. So we're just going to switch our feet. I like to go leg over to the, to the mat. And my um, leg that's in between my opponent's legs is going to step over that foot. So I got a nice little uh, leg cross right here. To complete the lockdown now, I'm going to take the top foot. I'm going to take it underneath his shin. And then both feet are going to extend out to lock his foot into place. I want to keep control of this by keeping his foot elevated. Okay, this gives me a nice control of his uh, of his hips and his legs. A good thing to practice when you're trying to evolve your half guard is just your leg swings, just swinging them side to side, getting comfortable having your legs up in the air, okay? Because this is where we're gonna be hanging out for the most part. The longer you can keep your legs uh, in the air and whipping back and forth, the better off, better chance it's gonna give you at advancing your position. So here we are in half guard. Maybe Andrew's even got like a smash mat going on, got my head turned, okay? So right away, I got my half guard locked in. I'm gonna flip my feet. Foot that comes over is going to the mat. This foot's coming over top of that, and I'm extending out. I'm keeping my feet elevated. So here we are. I got my traditional half guard locked up. Maybe I'm bracing out. I'm just kind of defending here at this point. I take my feet, I switch them, okay? Foot coming over the top of the leg, hits the mat, foot in between the legs, is right up. You're here to build heel to foot, the top of your foot, okay? And now, I snake that one underneath the shin and I extend up. Controlling you with the whip. <laughs> if you got a good lockdown on and you go into your whip and your opponent does nothing, okay, no brace, no nothing, and we end up on top. So naturally, my opponent should be bracing as I whip, okay? And the beauty of this now is we're going to revert back. Andrew had very good control, smash and out, okay, uh, side control, smash and out kind of stuff. Um, he's got good control. So he's got his hands locked up. Right now his bases are very limited. So this whip actually really helps me loosen up that kind of smash he's got on my, on my chin. It also gives me this available underhook. Okay. So we're going from a disadvantage to what I would consider more of an advantage. Okay? So basic drill from there. It's just you and your partner, you get into lockdown and you're just practicing your whip back and forth. Okay? The more whip you can create, the more they're going to have to post out. The more they post out, the more space you're going to have. I like this for, for many reasons. Um, one, it's a chance for me to reverse the position. Two, um, it's more offensive, and I feel like if I'm being offensive, it's gonna get a lot more reaction on him. So in MMA, that's great, right? I'm not gonna be absorbing as many shots from this position. Um, in Jiu Jitsu, they don't really have the time to be attacking me submission-wise, they gotta be more um, reactive and stopping my, my offense. So, um, first thing we're going to go over is just a basic escape from here. So I go from my traditional half guard, which I honestly don't feel as offensive from here. So I switch it to my lockdown offense. I got the whip going. My opponent break bases out. Okay. <laughs> I come back. Here we are in um, a dog fight position. I got a seatbelt across his waist. I also got the underhook here. And we're gonna use this underhook to just do a technical stand-up. So I'm gonna go from the waist to the underhook. I'm posting on this hand. 
I'm releasing my lockdown, but keeping the foot over top, sliding my knee out. Here we are. In an MMA standpoint, you go from on your back to standing. Some of us are much more skilled in striking, so there we go from a disadvantage to advantage. Okay, traditional half guard, lock down half guard, whip, deep posts. Okay, I bring them back with my underhook or my seat belt. I am based out, I'm keeping my head tight. Okay, I go to the underhook position. I release my legs. I slide the bottom knee out. Push to stand. Here we are starting. So next, we're gonna go. We're gonna get a reaction out of our opponent, uh, out of our teammate here. Andrew's gonna keep a lot of pressure down with a wizard on that underhook, and we're gonna go. Um, we're, we're gonna go to more of a wrestler style. A, we're gonna take a wrestler style approach to this. I'm gonna shrimp down for the leg and pull a single leg. Most of our opponents have a tendency to go for our neck and we'll show you when we get there. Um, go for our neck in this position for say a Japanese necktie or a Dars. Um, we gotta be aware of that, we gotta be prepared for that and we'll show you some stuff to counter that. So I'm gonna go once again to my lockdown. He's got good pressure here still. Okay, I got my underhook though. I whip back the other way and I come to my seat belt style position. Okay, now if my neck's loose here, this is, I'm in danger here. Okay, Andrew's gonna have multiple opportunities to get to my neck, okay? Which is something we gotta, we gotta be aware of that. Every time we come up to this position, um, which has been one of my flaws in the past, when every time we come up to this position, we want to be tight, head tight to the body. Now he's got less of a chance of coming in and creating that space, okay? We keep tight. Now he's got this heavy whizzer on. Maybe he's whizzering me down my shoulder. I'm still keeping my head up against the chest. I'm gonna, I'm gonna release my seatbelt, okay? I'm gonna, when I release that seatbelt, I'm gonna drop it down behind the thigh. Okay, here we are. Keep my head tight. I drop it down behind the thigh and I lock my hands underneath his butt. Immediately I'm going to pull him up. As soon as I've, I've made that adjustment, this back elbow is going to hit the mat and I'm going to release my legs. Now I'm more in more of a wrestling style position in a single leg. I can attack the knee and the ankle, okay, which is my preferred method. Um, I can start posturing up and going for the seat belt again in the knee, um, which I would be cautious of because he's still got a good wizard here. Um, or I can start framing and sliding out. So our next technique is going to be a sweep. Um, it's called the mechanic sweep. It's for um, our opponents using a heavy wizard, really buckling our shoulders down to the mat. So everything's the same. We get to the whip. We get to the underhook. Okay, he's driving me down. He's using his weight to drive into me. Okay. He's driving me down. Once again, we're still keeping this head tight. So he's got this pressure on us. He's really using that wizard pressure. I'm going to relieve my seatbelt. I'm going to come under. I'm going to grab the wrist. Okay. Sit up. So right here, I'm just pinching right behind the wrist. And in the MMA, you have those gloves on, which is so helpful. All right. We grab right behind the, the uh, Velcro, and you got a nice handle there. You just keep that hand pinched tight with your elbow tight to your body as well. Okay, and that, that gives us a nice little bond, a nice leverage. Come back, okay, so we're here. I bring my hand through, I get my handle, I get my, my grip, I pinch my elbow. Now we go back to what we initially started with, back to our whip. Okay, so I extend my legs, 
and I whip him through, catching the leg. So we've talked about this lockdown in perspective with a, um, a sweep, a escape, and a reversal, okay? And every one of these scenarios, you will, it is so important that you keep that lockdown until the exact time that it's time to unlock it. Um, and if at any point you lose control of that lockdown, um, you're gonna give up every advantage you have and it's gonna go heavily in his direction. So it's very important that when you're practicing this, the first drill that you do, the whip, just whipping, you should have this nice pinch between your knees, your, your shins, and your feet extended. It's very important that you keep this. At any time, if I lose this, Andrew can flip the position on me. So he rolls his foot out, and it's not tight, boom, he's in the slicing through. For these positions that we're off to our side, right, and we're all the way to our seatbelt, if I lose my lockdown, he rolls his ankle out again, and he's slicing through. So there is some risk there. Um, as, as with any position, right? Uh, we have to have the right mechanics to um, make this position work. It's all about that leg pinch extension, okay? And keeping that foot. Um, on the mechanic sweep, when we sweep them through, it's very important that you don't give up your lockdown too soon. Otherwise, they're gonna be hit, or they're gonna be countering us with butterflies, butterflies or um, full guard, etc. right? So I get my lockdown. Okay, we get to here. I made all the. I did all this work, and I unlock my legs. Okay. For folks that have never used the lockdown, that this is their first time kind of seeing the lockdown, definitely take the time, put the repetition in. Um, to practice your lockdown with the whip and just simply locking it up, okay? That is the basics to this move that you can't, you can't miss, you can't escape that. You have to put the reps in, otherwise, um, if you lose this lock at any point, you're, you gotta understand you're probably giving up um, either side control or full mount, um, just depending on the person that you're, you're working with. Thank you.